YouTubers are getting millions of views by copying the thumbnails of already viral videos. Copying viral thumbnails for views has been proven to work over and over again. But most people can't make thumbnails that look as good as these, as big YouTubers invest a lot into their thumbnails. Can you tell them what you what you invest per thumbnail? Uh, yeah, well, we probably spend around five to $10,000 a thumbnail, just making wow. sure we get the right image. And so it blew my mind when I found an AI thumbnail maker for YouTube that copies viral thumbnails automatically in seconds. Here's some of my own copies of viral thumbnails I made on screen now. And I was even able to insert my face into these thumbnails. So if you want to add yourself into a thumbnail for your own channel, you can do that too. So you're probably asking yourself, what's the name of this AI thumbnail maker? How do I make my own copies of viral thumbnails using it? And how do I insert my own face into these thumbnails? We're going to dive into that today. So what's the name of this AI thumbnail maker tool? The thumbnail maker tool is called Pixels. There's a link to its website that you're seeing now in the description to this video, as well as details on how to access Pixels at 50% off. So check that out when you're ready, but watch this video first as it's pretty hard to use Pixels when you're getting started. So you need to watch this tutorial. And what I think is so great about the Pixels thumbnail maker is you can use it to copy viral thumbnails exactly or simply just take inspiration from them. So for example, we can take this Mr. Beast thumbnail and use the AI to make a copy that looks exactly like it, something that looks quite a lot like it, or something that's just loosely inspired from the original thumbnail. There's people out there that say copying other YouTubers thumbnails is wrong. Let me know what you think to that in the comments of this video. So I think that being able to simply take inspiration from someone else's thumbnail makes this tool even useful for those people too. But like I said, it's pretty difficult at first to use this AI thumbnail maker to make copies of thumbnails unless you know what you're doing. Let me show you now how that's done. Cool, so now we're inside the AI thumbnail maker. You'll see on screen the viral thumbnail that I want to copy. The link to the video that uses that thumbnail is right here. So to recreate that thumbnail, we simply come down here to the chat box, type in slash, and we need to select recreate. Then in the next box that pops up, you paste the link to the original video. And finally, we need to tell Pixels how similar to the original viral thumbnail we want our recreation to be. You'll see there's three options, high, medium, and low. High being extremely similar, with low just taking some inspiration from the original. So we'll click high for now as you want it to be extremely similar. Then we just press enter. And now we just wait a few seconds for the AI thumbnail maker to make that copy of the viral thumbnail that we want it. And check this out, this blows my mind. After literally 10 seconds, we have our own recreation of that original thumbnail. I can click this to make it a bit bigger. You see, we have the green and red sports car. We have $500,000 written behind the car in a slightly different font, but with the same colors. And we have a completely different person inserted into the thumbnail. You'll see that right now, my face isn't in this thumbnail, even though this guy does look a little bit like me. I'll show you how to insert your own faces into thumbnails in just a second, but it really is as easy as that. It blows my mind that we can create a viral thumbnail like that original in seconds using this tool. And if we click these three buttons here, we can generate three versions of this thumbnail. The current high setting being really similar to the original thumbnail. We'll click medium now to see a slightly similar thumbnail. There we go, it's changed the guy from a black guy to a white guy and changed the color of the background a little bit, but still pretty similar. And then if we press low for just loose inspiration from the original, we get this thumbnail where the $500,000 text has been moved to the left of the car rather than above it, like in the original. And the cut distribution between red and green has changed. The red used to all be on the right-hand side, but now you can see the red is going throughout the car. Making incredible quality copies of viral thumbnails is really as simple as that, so using this tool. To download a thumbnail at this stage, if you don't care about not having your own face in it, you just simply press this download thumbnail button. 
and the thumbnail you're currently looking at will download to your computer so you can re-upload that to YouTube straight away. But that's only half of the process. You're probably going to want to put your own face into these thumbnails so that you can use the thumbnails on your own YouTube channel. So let me show you how to do that now. So to put your own face into one of these copied thumbnails, you need to use the face swap tool within Pixels. So to use that, you just click this button down here underneath your generated thumbnail. And you now need to copy a link to a photo of your face that exists anywhere on the internet. So this could be on your own website, or you could even just post a photo of yourself on Twitter, for example. So I have this photo here of myself. So I'm going to copy the link and paste it into here press submit and now pixels will just take a few seconds to insert your face into the copied viral thumbnail that you've chosen and there it is there's my face automatically added in to this thumbnail that was completely generated from scratch loosely drawing inspiration from that viral thumbnail that we saw at the start this technology is seriously crazy here's my face automatically added in to a mr beast thumbnail that i copied here too and here's my face copied into another thumbnail too once you've done that face swap, there's a few more things you can do with Pixels, which we can see on the website now. Remember the link to the Pixels website is in the description to the video, as well as a coupon code you can use to get 50% off this tool. And we can see here that there's also an edit tool within Pixels that you can use to make changes to any generated thumbnail that you've made. Here it's changed the thumbnail from gray to red. There's also a feature inside Pixels to add text to any thumbnail, which is pretty crazy because I never see text insertions inside image generators so the fact that pixels can do this makes this an image generator even more suited for youtube thumbnails than most i've seen out there you can also make youtube thumbnails completely from scratch by using text prompts you'll see here that they've written out make a thumbnail about the ikea effect and that's generated this thumbnail completely from scratch down here and that was done almost instantly I'll be making a prompting tutorial video for Pixels that will be out in a few weeks and will be here once that's live. So make sure to watch that once that video is out because this is just one of the best YouTube thumbnail makers I found. I need to make more videos on Pixels. So make sure to watch that next and obviously subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. See ya.